I am in the middle of the craziness of the NAM show with a Colt uh, race book. So Colt uh, from uh, World War Audio. Colt, how are you surviving uh, day two? I'm doing pretty good. I just had lunch, yeah. so I'm feeling great. Okay, yeah. excellent. So it seems that you stopped uh, building uh, pedals and now you are in the t-shirt uh, business. This is it. So yeah, we're yeah. completely stopping all <laughs> pedal production for for 20 years and yeah. we're going all in yeah. on this one shirt model uh, completely. Yeah. So a huge investment effort all into this one design in one size and two colors. Okay, so, excellent. Yeah. How many years of uh, R&D did you put into that? Oh, it's been going off and on for at least 40, 45 years. <laughs> so long time. Just excited to see the light of day now. Yeah, yeah. We're really excited, excited about it. <laughs> yeah. All right. Just let's talk for a minute about uh, World War Studio, which is no longer a business, but who cares? Right. So uh, I love the 385 uh, Mark II uh, pedal. So oh, uh, yeah. yeah, yeah, it's a great uh, pedal. So how did you come up with uh, with version two? Did you rework uh, rework everything? So we, uh, you know, there's three, there's two settings on the 385 that everybody in house really liked. Uh, it was kind of all cranked, and then we kind of liked it as a lower gain preamp sound. And so this is kind of the, the AB switching uh, with two channels on the 385 is kind of our dream of what we want to use the 385 for. So that, that's really kind of what, what came of it. It does have the 385 plus mode, which gets into way higher gain, yeah, yeah. Uh, it, which is a lot of fun when yeah. it's time to shred. But, but that's, that was the idea behind it. What I love about the pedal is that it cleans up really nicely when you turn down the, the volume. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it's, it's very dynamic and re very responsive to how much you feed it, and, and that, we didn't want to change that. Yeah, yeah. So we tried to keep it. Is it getting more and more difficult to come up uh, with ideas of our new pedal, or oh. it's uh, like a second nature for you? No, it's not. It's not difficult. Okay. It's, it's hard to pick what we come out with. It's, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so no, we we got plenty of ideas. It's just. Yeah, hard to pin them down and, and, and cancel out the ones that we can't release, you know? Mm. So there's stuff coming out in 20, you know, five years from now that I wish could come out now. But, okay. But yeah. Maybe you're going to release a green version of the t-shirt or it's not, uh, it's too early to tell? Uh, it depends on, you know, it depends on how this initial investment goes. You yeah, know, yeah, yeah. once we hit, you know, 12 million in sales with the shirts, then we can maybe break into another skew. All right, excellent. Colt, thank you very much for your time and I wish you all the best uh, for all your business, uh, t-shirt or pedals, whatever. Thanks right. man, appreciate it. Bye-bye. <laughs>